One of the most popular exhibits at the Maryland Zoo is the penguins. But did you know that our zoo is part of a vital network helping to keep the captive population healthy? Mike Shu shows us their latest milestones. What you're seeing is a bit of a rebirth. Seven humans, seven penguins, five months old. They've never been outside ever until right this very moment. So these are the first seven that hatched. The adults in their black coats look on. The keepers don't know if the juvenile gray coats will run to the water or away from it. Well, I guess that pretty much settles it. They're not so much afraid of the water, but of everything. Blue sky, big humans, cold water, who wouldn't run? Actually, I was kind of hoping that they would go right into the water. They don't usually, they usually just stand there and are very scared. Someone's got to be the leader. That guy darts left and hops in. The others aren't so sure. And then, why not? Let's take a 40 degree dip. But look, these three obviously think their cousins are nuts. A full minute goes by. Now, witness some penguin persuasion. He leads by example, and the followers, well, they follow the leader. A happy introduction to the waters of Penguin Coast, taking to it like, well, a penguin in water, having a look around, exploring the entire enclosure. Watch this, though. Some learned the hard way that glass is not just more water. Ouch. Overall, a good day for these penguins and future generations. We're trying to maintain a diverse gene pool here. Some of these birds may move to another zoo or aquarium to be partnered up with other birds uh, and have chicks of their own. So now that they have been put in the water, these guys are going to stay with the colony. So if you ever come visit the zoo, they'll be the ones dressed in the gray tuxedos. I'm Mike Shu, WJZ Eyewitness News. Back to you on TV Hill. And from March until December, the zoo is open from 10 until 4 daily.